Configuration management in the 3D Experience platform is pervasive across all of the different domains of the data model. In this video, we will demonstrate configuration management for requirements, physical engineering items, and MBOM. Let's start with a look at how the configuration dictionary is created by the product manager. The product manager defines what options we are going to go to market with and then relates those options to each other using rules with a convenient table you can define them including what the defaults are and what options should not be available and then product configurations can be created selecting those options and storing them as a separate object you can see here the rules are maintained based off of what was created. This model will be used as the basis to control the configurations across the data model. Moving on to requirements, we see here a max case requirement spec with requirements for every color. The requirement spec itself is connected to the model that we showed earlier, and the individual requirements are related with rules to the options of the model that we saw. That simple rules creation can be done by just clicking the boxes in order to define those rules. With that in place, we can then filter the structure based off of any particular configuration. Here I'm going to pick the China Blue configuration. And when applied, you then see the requirement spec is structured as if it was a separate document with only the blue color shown. Now let's have a look at the product structure and how that relates to configuration. Here we have a 3D product that includes all the different options, including different battery color, cover colors, and this works the same exact way as we saw from the requirement spec. The configurable product is connected with the model and individual items within are related with the options using the rules with simple checkbox selection. And here we also have the ability to filter the structure in the same way. Let's do that one more time with the China Blue configuration. And apply it. And notice we're going to see in 3D, now everything looks blue because only the blue components are selected. And this shows up in the product structure as well as in 3D. So you have a product structure CAD sort of bill of materials that is unique for that configuration without managing a separate structure. We also have the ability to visualize using our engineering release widget the product structure as a bill of material. And here, now we've got the individual items with rolled up quantities, and it's also showing the max case 150% structure, or in this case, super bomb, for this smoke alarm. By clicking on the product configuration, we can easily get back to that same configuration. Let's do the China Blue again. And it's going to immediately show you the bill of materials in bomb view with only the blue items for the colored externals as well as the battery which is for the China delivery rather than United States. Lastly, let's review the manufacturing bomb or manufacturing item structure. Here's the engineering structure from before. Here's the manufacturing bill of material. And like we saw earlier, there's the configuration context of the model is connected with the various levels of the MBOM. And the items below it have their rules selecting them based off of the options. The MBOM is structured, where the EBOM in this case is not structured. And we have the product assignment to give us feedback about whether everything has been accounted for. This can also be reviewed on our native client with a stronger visual interface showing how the subassemblies eventually roll up into the product 
And here we can demonstrate the filtering where the both the EBOM and the MBOM can be filtered all at once to see in this case the covers only show the gray covers for the particular configuration. All of the work shown results in a complete bill of information going across product management, engineering, and manufacturing. Here we have the smoke alarm configured engineering item that we can see the requirement spec that's related to it, its individual requirements. We can see the relationship to the model that we showed earlier for controlling the configurations. And we can see the relationship to the manufacturing bill of material. All of these are related to each other in the platform just simply by doing the work that users would normally do. In this video, we have shown how the configuration is pervasive across the 3D Experience data model, and we demonstrated it with requirements, EBOM in the physical engineering domain, and in MBOM. But the same functionality works in other areas as well, including functional and logical, where you can have configurable behavioral models and diagrams, process plans for operations and routings in a configurable way, as well as doing service bill of materials and services processes in the same configured SuperBOM 150% methodology.